So I've been waiting for a game like Empire TV Tycoon for a very long time. The focus of the game is to run your own TV station, and eventually you can make your own shows and movies. So the goal of the game is to beat out the other two AI players, and you can pick whatever color, red, green, blue, uh, you can pick your, your person's name, as well as the station that you want to be called. Right now I'm Crack TV, so that is going to be our television state station, I guess our network's name. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pick blue, and we're going to play on normal difficulty because I am not at all ready for advance or anything like that, William Wallace. You'll see quotes like this uh, as we progress and we go through different days. I mean, that's one, one thing that's really cool. If you're into like pop culture and if you're into like uh, movies and, and television, and stuff like that. I mean, you'll see this this game riddled with references. I mean, we have the, uh, the Captain America Shield here. We have Doctor Brown from the Back to the Future series. We have Heisenberg or Walter White from Breaking Bad. I mean, you'll, you'll see stuff like this all the time. Um, so, anyways, let's just go ahead and before we get into anything. So, the ultimate. So. You're going to be walking around this sort of television network or whatever. Uh, you're, we're, we're blue, so we're at the bottom of the building. We've got the green player here and the red player all the way at the top. I can't show you guys just yet. Um, but yeah, that's how you walk around, and these are like our three levels. Uh, eventually, you'll see this kind of story. You'll see this kind of room or I guess this, this part of the building all messed up. That's because we need to upgrade this. This is where we're going to be able to produce our own television studios or I guess our own television uh, shows uh, or movies or whatever it may be. But we're a long way from that. We're I won't get to that in this video, uh, but it's something that just to kind of keep in mind that uh, you can do and it's really fun uh, in the process. So like I said, this is the TV schedule and uh, this is where you set up blocks. This is how you... Uh organize what's going to be playing on your on your station now there's a lot to do there's a lot to do in the beginning i don't want to just jump into this but uh but yes this is just kind of an idea of what you want uh we have prime time here which is really important that you have something good one, one thing that i've noticed is you really want to cater to your audience you need to look at who is who is watching these shows at these times and you need to kind of put out uh contents that they're going to want so if you see if you see these two children blocks here, you've got you've got a, a nice block of, of children, I guess you could say, as well as geeks and and rockers. Uh, maybe you should consider something, maybe maybe a kid friendly show. I would suggest a kid friendly show. Um, so that is something to kind of keep in mind. And as well as we have uh, and and we have we have question marks, which we we're gonna need to kind of explore. You kind of just need to throw something out there and see how how well you can do. Uh, now we're our, we we start the game off with a few movies and television shows. Uh, we can buy a few more. We start also with uh, half a million dollars. It looks like so we're gonna buy a little bit more. I don't want to just let it. I don't want to just use the the regular movies and shows that we've, we've showed because uh, there's a freshness rating. So if I were, I can't, that that kind of, the, this is how the game, uh, I guess, requires you to not play the same TV shows back to back. Um, I'm looking at you, uh, man, G4, the old G4 where they just play cheaters all day. Uh, you, d you don't want to do that because this is going to be just boom. To, your freshness rating is going to go down immediately after you play. Uh, you want to, you know, you want to have a variety of content. Uh, and this right here, this is the actual movies and stuff you're going to show. Uh, and we'll get into marketing and TV advertising in a little bit, but that's really, really important, especially. TV ad advertising. So anyways, like we said, there's there's children, geeks, and men uh, in these two upcoming blocks. So let's go ahead and look for something that, uh, actually before we get into that, let's not do anything. Let's go ahead and buy some more stuff. Uh, and again, you might see a few shows or uh, or movies. You might have you know, reckon the Fifty Shades of Grey. There you go, 2015 romance. Uh, we we can totally play that, and we probably will we'll probably throw that out there. Although its rating is only a 3.8, you want to keep that in mind too. Uh, that will also have an effect. Um, so we're already set up here. It looks like this is good. Um, actually, you know what? It's not because this is a sports movie. You can see uh, Supercross, um, and there's no athletes that are here. Athletes come in around 19. I, I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'm my my military time skills are uh, off. I'm sorry. I apologize. But let's not show Supercross yet. Maybe let's wait on that. That's a, actually that's actually a pretty good movie. I wouldn't mind moving that down a slot. Um, but like I said, rockers. So if we can find a, a movie about like music or something like that, I mean that would be really cool. I don't know if we have any. We could always go buy something. Um, Deep Blue, The Aftermath. What is this about? Most famous chess player. Oh yes. Oh I've seen this. This is actually a really good uh, documentary. Um, that's see. I mean that's that's what I that's what I've been doing. It's pretty funny. I've been doing that way too often. I I don't know if I have enough time. Yep, you know, our first day is about to start up right now. Do, do you think Fifty Shades of Grey? Do you think that rockers would like Fifty Shades of Grey? 
Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do it. Bam. Throw that in there just because I think that uh, we'll have much more success if we throw down Supercross down here. Now, the second half of Supercross, th this is a movie. So it's going to go into two different blocks. It's, it's a two-hour movie. Uh, so it's going to go into our little primetime section. We'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, we can also do a little bit of marketing. We could have radio ads or press ads to make this pop a little bit bigger, uh, which, which I might want to do. Uh, there's already two press ads here. I think I'd rather save this. You don't have to have marketing at all times. Um, it, you have to have TV schedules. You have to have movies and TV shows playing at all times, or else you're not going to be looking so good. Um, and then, and then here is our. Uh, our, our ads. You want TV ads because those are pretty important too. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to uh, let's let's go to Heisenberg here. Let's try to buy a few more movies, television shows, stuff like that. Um, as well as there's pirating movies, we can go out to this uh, illegal movie seller and he he'll sell us a movie that probably even isn't out yet. Or uh, you know, I mean, he's gonna show us something from Pirate Bay, I guess, and we can play that out on our on our station. Although. Uh, I think I'm not 100% if you get caught for sure every single time or if there's a just a possibility if it's just a possibility of you getting caught So obviously you're gonna have amazing ratings, uh, but you're gonna pay for it in terms of your budget your your economy uh, Or I guess yeah, the your your money is gonna go way down So we need to buy a few more things uh, I you know you start up the you start the game off with a little bit of, of TV shows and stuff like that 12 out of 30 I'd like to buy a bit more um, and let's go ahead and search by I guess we could look at money. Uh, game shows are always so expensive. The moment of truth. Uh, now I'm looking at genre here, just so we have a wide variety of genre. Drama, romance might not be a bad idea. This is Coyote Ugly 4.1 rating. Uh, zombie Nightmare might not be terrible, but you know horror movies you can't. You got to play that late at night without the without kids watching. Uh, musicals are kind of good all around, and that's pretty cheap. I guess we'll do that. Uh, what what is this next one? Docu. Documentary. Now, I personally like documentaries, but I don't think that they have... They're, they're not always the most effective. Um, these are really good ratings here. This, I mean, it's a documentary, but it's a really good... The evil that men do... It's an action. There we go. Okay, boom. Uh, Jersey Shore. We can totally buy Jersey Shore. Yeah, I know you guys are going to want me to buy that. Okay, I'm going to buy that. Not not too much, though. I don't want to dip too low into my economy. That, that, that's, that should be fine. Um, okay, so now we have a an overall kind of game statistics. This is going to show us... Uh, this is kind of the fun thing to look at while while the day's going on, while your uh, while your channels are all battling it out. Because like I said, you're battling two other AIs right now. We're not doing so good. We are the blue, uh, and it'll show you exactly what each channel is playing. Uh, so so the red the red channel is playing Dungeons and Dragons, uh, which seems to be in second place. Uh, men and rockers aren't liking it as much. And uh, what is this? A box in the desserts. Never heard of this, but a 5.0 uh, rating and 52,000 viewers. So that's fine, it's not a big deal, you know what I mean? This is only the first time slot, you're gonna have things that you, you do good in and you, you lose. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna lose certain time slots, that's perfectly normal. Um, and now every single time, we can maybe speed this up a little bit, every single time a block ends, you're gonna have a rating. Now that's how, that's how the game functions, uh, that's how the game calculates who is gonna be the winner. Um, so, Every so let's say right now the green the green obviously channel is gonna win. They're gonna get three points. Uh, since red was in second, they're gonna get two points, and I'm gonna get uh, one point because I was in third. And that is pretty much the basis. Uh, now I believe we go to 300 points. There you go. And that is that is very simply how the game it, it works. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and look at what happens after the next block. Boom. There we go. Uh, I thought it was over there we go boom so it'll show me that I only got one point of fame that is like the uh, currency I guess that we're trying to accumulate here and again we're not doing so well we're not doing so well I mean it's 50 shades of gray I, I guess it makes sense I mean rockers men uh, that was probably a dumb idea I didn't I, I just wanted to throw it out there because I wanted to throw something out there uh, here's the eco the economy tab we can we, we need to Ultimately, at the very beginning, we need to use television, uh, television advertising to really boost up the amount of money that we're making per day. Uh, and then we can look at certain categories of people and, and what they think of our channel. Right now, there really hasn't been too much that's gone on. Uh, after a few days, this is a very interesting tab to look at. And then you can base your advertising around... Um, the category of people that watch you. So if you have a lot of elders that watch you, you might want to get maybe, you know, I, I don't know, a uh, retirement plan advertising, you know, something like that. Or I guess, I don't know, something like that. I'm, I'm trying to sound smart here, but it's not really working. Uh, we can also hire a few people. Like I said, and this is what you're going to need to do. You have to hire a few people if you want to ever uh, start up your own movie production industry or if you want to make your own TV channels or, I'm sorry, TV shows or movies. 
And uh, the, the basis of that would be to hire a scriptwriter. We're not, re we're not ready for that yet. We're, we still need to really build up our own audience. Uh, that comes later on in the game. But for now, I would love to get a, uh, a marketing manager. That way she gives us more opportunity for like, you know, like those radio, uh, the radio advertising. Uh, that way, you know, we have we have ads on the radio saying, hey, come check out the, the crack TV tonight at eight o'clock. We're, we're playing. Uh, what are we playing tonight? Whatever sports movie, Fifty Shades of Grey. You know, we've already played that, but I'm just saying uh, now this is going to cost money. And but we can click on her and immediately I like to upgrade her because she doesn't usually do that well in the very beginning. She only gives us uh, a. Uh, what is this, Highway Billboards, which is only going to increase the uh, the rating by, what, like 40% or something? 4%, I think? Yeah. 4% more viewers in this block. So, no, no, thank you. I'm going to go ahead and grab a, I'm going to upgrade her. It's going to cost me a little bit of extra money, but that's fine. I think it's worth it. We can hire somebody else, uh, and I think we will. I would like, a community manager will add 5% additional income in every successful TV ad campaign. That is really cool. Um, audience analysis. Uh, community manager, we've got a few of those. What do the hackers do? 10% less likely to be caught programming a pirated movie. There you go. So you don't for sure get caught by uh, showing pirated movies. It's less likely if you get a hacker. And we can upgrade this to increase that value, which would be really good if we're falling behind and uh, we really need to just play something to get our ratings up uh, or our overall you know, viewer retention rate up. That would be a, a pretty good idea. Plus 15 for the reputation when hiring an actor. Oh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves a scriptwriter, and he and we can get actually a pretty good one. Serenity Cruz is not bad. Uh, it'll also show us her stats on what genre she likes to write for. Uh, so she seems to be good at romance and question marks. We don't know what that is, as well as musical. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I guess I'll hire her. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and hire her. That's fine. She can start writing us a script. Uh, now, we're still a ways away. You can, you can write something, and it won't be that bad. We can choose uh, to tell her to write something specifically. So, yeah, go ahead and make us a game show. Go ahead and make us a game show. Now, there's also these different sort of other, uh, the game throws these different curveballs your way. Sometimes in the programming tab, uh, it'll, it'll specify, it'll give you a little boost if you play a game show in a certain area. Look, here's the the chick from the green channel coming down here. Um, like I said, let's go ahead and view the, let's go ahead and check out the technology screen. Right, I'm sorry, the technology floor uh, with Doc Brown. This is where we can buy certain things. We can buy a TV ad so resupply line, movie library resupply line, worker desk, so we can hire another. See, right now we've, we've ran out of worker's desk. If we want to hire more people, we need to buy more desks, and uh, this is how you do it. Studio repair, so this is how we can just get our, our studio ready to go. Again, I'm not going to waste my money on this too early on. Uh-oh. We're not playing anything. I, I made a big mistake. Okay, well, there you go. So then you now, now we're going to get a negative one here because we didn't have anything playing on this block. That is my bad. But let's go ahead and go with a, let's see, who's who's here? Men? Do men like to watch Minute to win it? I hope so because we're going to play it. And uh, let's get ourselves, why is that in the red? I am not 100% why that is in the red, but this is how we get money. See, this is what I was talking about. Here's a little curveball. Optional quest, documentary, minimum rating of a 4.8 and a minimum year, 1995. So I guess we can go ahead and try that out. Uh, is that everything in terms of that? Let's make sure that we have two out of four out of four. We satisfy those requirements. Uh, do we have any more documentaries? I did buy one. Actually, yeah, we could totally play one. Where's that documentary at? There it is, right there. Ah, it's a 4.1 though. We wouldn't be able to. We wouldn't be able to make it. Where's that paw print at? That's that's how it's going to show us the genres. Well, dang it, we we tried. That's okay. Okay, so what are we going to put for the uh, prime time? Primetime might be who's now here is how we can look at it. We, we have geeks. So fantasy would be good. We have lovers, women, children. OK, let's let's just focus on the geeks since they are the only reoccurring uh, um, audience member that's going to be going through the primetime slots. So I would say that fantasy is good. Sci fi is also pretty good. We'd also like to play a good movie, too. I mean, it's something with a high enough rating would be would be somewhat nice. Right. I, I guess action. I guess we only have one side. I thought, I think, I thought, I guess we do. Okay, well, there we go. We're going to play this. This should be, I think that should be a pretty big hit. And if we wanted to, I can market it a little bit better with radio ads. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom, let's market it. Uh, so now there's going to be radio advertising saying, hey, come check out uh, Crack TV tonight. And uh, we're going to be playing Extraterrestrial at whatever, 8 o'clock or whatever it is. Okay, so we're back. We're doing we're doing better now. Uh, now, if we check out the uh, game statistics, we we would have gotten nothing there. We actually lost two two points of fame. Ouch! Because we were doing bad as it is. But it's no big deal. Again, I'm just trying to show you guys the basic mechanics of how the game works and stuff like that. Hey, we're gonna win this one. It looks like we're gonna, we're gonna win this time slot. Minute to win it. Very nice. So men do like minute to win it. Uh, now the one thing, the other thing that I wanted to show you briefly was uh, how you buy new TV uh, TV ads. This is very important to kind of keep that in mind, as well as we have some emails we should probably look at. 
Oh, she's finished her she's finished her script. Okay, here's the advertising agency. So if we start running into the red, so you can lose the game before the game ends if you have three days of uh, negative numbers, if your budget is in the negative for three days. So uh, we need to keep that in mind. Okay, so this is here, our TV ads uh, available. This is also good to kind of, you know, obviously place the TV ads when certain viewers are watching them. Um, so what is this, for instance? Uh, this is a good ad for, uh, for the elderly. Ask about independent servant plants. Uh, in detention servant. What is that? I, I, I don't know. I'm, I probably look so dumb right now. I have no idea what that is. I'm very confused. Um, Turbo Man, superhero toy. Yes, this would be very good for our children. Uh, early on in, in our day, uh, that'd be a great advertising to show off. Global Gym, let's go ahead and do that. Global Gym, oh my gosh, that's a reference to, do do to Dodgeball. See, that's why this is really cool. They have little things like that in. Uh, now the thing is, now you, you've got to make sure that you play this uh, the right amount of times, uh, or else you will get penalized. So you need to make sure that you you, you use it in the right spot. Uh, I don't feel like we have too many lovers. I see, uh, you know, the geeks, we do have a few geeks. Uh, D20, Android Dungeon. Let's go ahead and buy that too. Okay, there we go. So we have five out of our 10 ads, good to go. Let's see what Serenity did, Hi, Drew. Dear Drew, I uh, finished that work. Uh, P.S. The script is ready. Okay, so we can go visit her and we can talk to her about the script before we uh, finish off the scheduling. Crack TV commercial. I don't know what we're showing. I'm, I apologize. I I don't know what our channel was doing, but uh, okay. Uh, get we get down there. What's going on? Get oh oh that's because that's this is the green this is the green channel. Whoopsie. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. And uh, our marketing uh, manager is almost finished up with her upgrading this or whatever. Okay, so what's the script that she has? What, what is this game show idea that she has? Um, master work quality, very nice. So you're gonna have different qualities of work uh, depending on what they make and depending on how good the script writer is. So this is this is kind of a this is kind of a I don't know gold waiting to happen. Let's see what what's the idea. Coming from the airport, a doctor and his worker colleague, an amateur. Uh, writer will compete to win the game. The doctor will have to find a box in the desert while the amateur writer is asked to outrun a bear while covered in honey. This is master quality, certainly. that They got that right. Uh, the doctor and the amateur writer get the same score and both win. So they win. So they will have to share the prize and, uh, can, and a can of beans. It doesn't sound like much of a game show, but I don't even care. It's, it's master quality. Uh, oh, and we have to name it too. Uh, I don't even know. Doctor, doctor, writer. I don't know. I'm terrible at names. Okay, boom. There we go. So we could have her write something else. We could have her continue to write some things for us. But for now, let's just go ahead and, and, and go down and uh, make sure that our, our scheduling is good for the day. Uh, you can always see also how many viewers are watching at that particular moment. We've got 75,000 viewers. Very nice. I wonder if we're... Are we still dominating? Hey, look at that. We're going to win another block. It looks like... Ooh, it might be close. Uh, this this hour just started, so we could they could sweep us in there. But... This is when we have our athletes. This is supposed to be, we're playing Supercross. This is this is when I decided to invest a lot of my uh, my time here. Okay, very good. Uh, do we have, wait a second, hold on. I'm gonna change up the advertising uh, because I, just, I did just buy those Global Gym uh, commercials. So let's buy a few of those. Bam, all right, that should be money right there. That should be money, very cool. Okay, now how are we going to uh, end the day Let's go ahead and end the day with maybe a, what do we have? Elders, rockers, uh, I'm not sure if I have any, you know what? Yeah, let's go ahead and play a musical. Doesn't seem like, you know, rockers would like musicals. Which one is the higher rating one? 4.5, we'll start off fast, I guess. Oh, oh, this is, a, this is a show? It only has one block. Okay, okay, well, I guess we'll do, and then we'll do Copper Mountain next. Uh, and then we'll finish off the day with, uh, do I have any one block shows? See, I just played Minute to Win It, so its freshness uh, is at 6%. So if we play that, it's not going to be very effective. Uh, but I actually don't know if I have any one-block shows. Deep Blue, The Aftermath. Dang, I've got to play my my documentary. Well, that kind of sucks, but oh well. And uh, we'll speed through the rest of the day. And actually, before we speed through the rest of the day, let me go here. Uh, and I'm going to start to wrap up this video. Nice. Look at that. Boom. Uh, big day. Big time slot there. Let's go ahead and speed it up uh, as we end through here. So we're probably going to get the best audience of the day, easily. Look at that. Almost 100 and, what, 25,000 people watched? Good, that was nice. And also you have to think that the radio advertising helped as well. Um, that was a big deal. So I'm starting to catch up in fame points because I've won how many slots in a row? How many, how many blocks? I mean, I've been winning a lot. But I'm still behind because they're still accumulating points uh, every single time. So, I mean, that kind of sucks. Come on, let's win, let's, let's win out the rest of the day. Parental control. 
See, there you go. Boom. We 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 marketed to the right. I'm surprised that this is working. Summer camp. Actually, no, I'm not, because the rockers are there. Look at that. Look at that. Boom. We're tied. Let's get let's get a few more wins in, and I think we'll be good to go for this day for day one. I just want to see. Ah, looks like the red channel is going to beat us out with uh, breaking wind. 4.9 rating. Copper Mountain. Come on, let's go. Let's get it. Let's let's do it, lovers. I know you like Copper Mountain, lovers. Uh, the couples out there watching us, 73,000. As you can see, obviously the audience is going down and we're not going to win this last slot. Uh, but there you go. That is not bad. Uh, and we're going to be making money for showing off of our, our TV commercials and stuff like that. And now day two begins uh, again with the quotes. And uh, uh, I just love the game. It's just so cool the way it's like kind of uh, just riddled with all sorts of different, uh, you know, sort of uh, hints and, and, and Easter eggs at, at pop culture and movies and television. And I just I really, really like it. This was uh, very much exactly the type of game that I was, I was expecting. And it was it kind of beyond uh, it went beyond my expectations. And I, I really like this game. But anyways, guys, hope you guys like this game as well. Uh, please consider leaving a like if you think this was a cool video. If you, uh, you know, you know, maybe want to uh, check out the game, I will leave a link in the description below if you want to see uh, more information about it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.